anybody out there? Please help! Oh shit! Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad! Victoria! Wake up! Wake up! Oh shit! Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad! right in front of me. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Oh, finally, I'm free. Almost. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. Towards me. Great. I can see all my things, but I can't grab it. I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Oh shit! Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! My shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Oh, 
both of his eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always oh. take oh. the shot. fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, now I can use them. Victoria, hey, Victoria, it's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh God, where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Victoria, please listen. I have a plan. Really? How? Max, I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? 
I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here, and then we can both go see her again, okay? I'd do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. I've warned you about Nathan. You went to Jefferson for help. It's all my fault. God, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Okay, I broke those Please files when I kicked the trolley. Me. Please don't let me die in here. Victoria, nobody is dying in here. We will escape. I promise. Whoa, I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Then why did you blame David Madsen for stalking Kate? Of course he was the only person who was about to find out the truth. Irony. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. 
It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good. Because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No! You didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. This is purity personified. Max, I wish you could see yourself now. This one is out of focus, but that's my fault, Max. Sorry. This is not art. God, I wish you had been around back in my day. I must have missed something. I should rewind. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better.
Oh my god. I could go all the way back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything. For good. This is purity personified. Max, I wish you could see yourself now. All humanity is tortured, right? I mean, any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started Max. this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well... Uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Even if you're submitting your photo for the company. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. No, no matter I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Who wins? This is just a bump in the road. I don't want anybody to feel excited. For once, David. I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, 
Listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh... That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be... innocent. Or guilty. Uh... Well... Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Whoa!
Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Excuse me, sir. Your phone has to be shut off. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Shut off your phone, sir. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. I admit, I love being called an artist. I can't wait to land in Frisco. Uh, We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. We'll be landing soon. 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 I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. After all the damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time.
San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Sir Max, you did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. Hmm, that looks familiar. This might be too meta metaphoric. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. That one is kind of silly. I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. I like. But imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. all the other winners. I should say artists instead. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Danny Lee article. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Unlike Arcadia Bay, some mysteries should stay that way. 
I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. It must be really claustrophobic. The revolution will not be televised. How fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. Holy shit, this flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. But what would I wear? Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh shit, pretentious alert. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. I know it's kind of simple, but I find this haunting. Right? The instant print makes it look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who's teenage the girl. Artist? I think it's for some contest. That's cool. Seems pretty mature. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. Young and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. Good. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. It was cool that Principal Wells came along. He could have canceled our entries after what happened with Jefferson. So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. It's not your fault. You didn't know what really happened. I know, but that's not a good excuse for a principal. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. I do not understand art. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. How much would you pay for that? That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. 
Um, excuse me, I-, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Max Caulfield, everyday hero. Hi, I- excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I- I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. I can't believe I'm in San Francisco. How can I process this after all the death I've seen this week? I wish Chloe was here with me now. Without her, I couldn't have fought Jefferson. And she always pushed me to not be shy about my photos. Even if that feels so trivial after what happened with Rachel. And Kate. But for whatever reason, I have this power. I hope I finally used it right. I always get so inspired whenever I come here. Hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say congratulations. And I hope you get a lot more attention. This makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. Usually these kind of contests, they they put me to sleep. But I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. How do these galleries afford to rent here? God, I love art. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells, yet. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Sorry, I don't know your name. But I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost you there for a second. Uh, your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared! I'm, I'm by the beach! I'm Chloe! Like... Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god! The tornado was real! Oh, I didn't fix shit! Chloe will die! Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed! There has to be a way to stop this! For good! Like, I do not understand art. I guess everybody is a photographer now.
Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Now, it feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. No! I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything! What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh, I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid! Okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh. As if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He you burned know, my diary. I'm always. That's why I'm still own. here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. At least, that's the last lecture 
you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. <laughs> Please, don't do this. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did. Right, Max? Okay. Let's try this one last time. I could rewind all the way. I talked to Jefferson and help set a trap. I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I, can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me! David Madsen, of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Max, are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. 
No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. No. Just looking at that makes me want to the vomit. What is this place? I want to burn all these photos. I hate looking at me like that. Damn, Jefferson torched everything. Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. Oh, that's Victoria's bracelet. I bet Jefferson was going to use that to frame Nathan. Jefferson looks so pathetic now. Good God, it's a studio. No more fucking guns. Frank isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. The Prescott's had to know about this. Oh, Chloe, I'm gonna save you for the last time. There's no way I'm leaving your necklace here. Max, I'm sorry you had to be here. Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation with Prescott cash. No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. Good God. David Madsen is on the case. He's still looking for evidence. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was gonna kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. You kind of suspected everybody. Yes, and this is what I get for wasting all those hours on the Prescotts. I set my sights too wide. Lack of focus. I know the feeling. I guess I looked just as suspicious when you told Principal Wells that I was harassing Kate Marsh. And I don't blame you. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only wasn't so stupid. No, I, I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while well, you had each other. We... We are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Or kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. 
except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, she... she would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. And I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. Expensive gear just for I lost again. sick bullshit. I always lose. Hold tight, David. I'm going to fix everything. Have that photo you took last night in the parking lot. Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can 
barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kinda scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those taxes for? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I... I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. <laughs> Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. I'm sorry. Shit! 
Tell us I need help again. Can I get out of here? If we can make it out of this, Chloe. Oh, this makes me so sad. Electrocuted. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Damn, I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. Don't fail me, Fusebox. Okay, I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. Here right now. I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. No more storms. You should get out of here. The whole town is dying. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo.
tomato might be the end of the world, but not if I can change it. Help him. It's too late now. Oh, she's not here. I hope she's in a shelter. I never even asked her name. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. At least nobody's going to starve in here. For Arcadia Bay and Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. System is now in effect. Go get him, Juliet. Glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Hello. So glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Sorry. It's no. good to have Frank on our team. Sorry. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are, you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk. Papadou hated him. Yeah. You saw. You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I did it. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson and he. he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel, oh God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. 
I know. Neither were Chloe. I knew Chloe and her were close. And I was jealous, but uh, now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid, I still think you're weird. But you're cool. seem to escape the two whales. Joyce has got everybody's back. Jesus. Even Jesus. Frank's. I want to die. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? She's safe, Joyce. She just sent me a text before my phone died. Oh, thank God. I was torturing myself before you showed up. Oh, God, if something happened to Chloe while I ended up stuck at this diner again. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. And if he doesn't always show it. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry, and I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together again. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever, and I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. You know, after he had Chloe. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. At least Frank still has Pompidou at his side. As long as I have my Pompidou with me. It's hard to believe people were eating breakfast here only a few hours ago. One moment to do nothing. This is where I convinced Chloe I could 
rewind time. So, what's the point of this power? What's the lesson? To keep fixing what I keep fucking up? No, because I didn't ask for this gift. But I, I was able to stop Mark Jefferson. And now I, I can stop Chloe from dying. For the last time. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Look at Warren. Always trying to help. Jeep. I hate to say I'm glad to see you. But I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa, is that all? I, I think that the storm started, everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse, the birds, the whales, everything. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. Now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but... I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Warren, I know this all sounds insane, but you're the only other person who I can count on now. I wish we had more time together. Do you believe me? Max. Of course I believe you. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Max, do you... Do you think this is the end? Hey. 
Be careful out there. For luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Lauren. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Please be okay, Chloe. At least I kissed Warren once. To let him know how I feel. I was just... We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, to Warren. Sorry, Warren. to Rachel. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe, I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is going to turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to end your life. I did. For you, I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I, 
had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and I never want to hurt you, ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, no matter how much of a douche he's been, David truly cares about you. Oh, please. Like he cared when he busted into my room? You should have seen his reaction when I told him that Jefferson killed you. He was crushed. Are you serious? I... I can't see him showing any feeling. Except towards my mom. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Well, it looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And you traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Then for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. This is stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? 
This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. What? Chloe. I've got your back, Rex. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm but back in class. As he what the hell? Us. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our I have sorrow. to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This From might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is the messed human up. condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Victoria. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as Wait, tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. I don't care if this is a dream or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. Not yet, you bastard. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Holy shit. Look at all these dead birds. Uh, this can't be real. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I like to think of it as our dark realm. It's the only place I truly feel safe and protected from the storm. Of course, Max. I can capture you over and over. You can be my model for life and death. We are going to be so happy together in the dark. Just make sure you stay pure. I won't like it if you get dirty like Rachel or Chloe. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone, and that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend.
This hall never ends. I, I better find something. This one is for Samuel. So you should be how he said he had your vets no scams again. I'm not gonna eat both and I re or he's no we'll be not it well. Ich 
né? Mas não era as duas. Não ia ver 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 as duas. Scam <laughs> Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me again. Max! No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. Maybe I'll be safe in the lighthouse. What? Maybe I'll wake up. To your spark, Max. I thought I could be your professor for life. I realize now you'll never be an artist, much less a photographer. Come here, Max. Class is dismissed. Come here, Max. Class is dismissed. I miss those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. I want to be your professor again. I can teach you so much. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Attention. I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates, Maxine Caulfield, has died under tragic circumstances that I promise to investigate after I get my drink on. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play, eh? Hey, babe, babe, who wants to go in? Go in, go, go in, babe, babe. 
Max. Come Miss Price play. can't just show up Come at Blackwell in a wheelchair. The squirrels hate you. And week. they're hungry. Friends out of life. Do you have a scarf I can borrow, Max? Samuel wants to make sure. Get in the car. I'll take you for a ride. Get in the car. Oh shit, Warren. That is too weird. Too Fucking scary. Friends with the Tabanga. Just in case I need evidence. Hide from your white knight. Give it up. What's up with you and that blue haired? Do you have Do you have a scarf I can borrow, Max? Do you have a scarf? Miss Coffee. Blackwell. She's Come a bad on, influence. Just admit that you're jealous of my service record. Do the work admit you do it! Nothing and whine. You can't Chloe escape my surveillance, Just Missy. like you, Max. And you can't keep saving... saving. Fuck you, Max. And you can't keep saving... Keep saving. Victoria actually do the work. Bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Freak. Those were my beans, Max. Those were my fucking beans. Max. Max. I want to share my gift with you. Don't you dare run away. You oh, no. will be my greatest Bottles. portrait, Max. This might be hell. Oh man, Rachel looked just like a zombie model in the dirt. Just bone meat and hey! Be model in the dirt. Just bone meat and match. Stop right now! Well, these ones aren't too hard to find. Just bone meat and maggots. He's posing for me in hell. Oh, when did I get bad bottle karma? Rachel, no. just because I'm mentally ill. Max, sit down. You're taking a time out no matter what. If this is my nightmare, let me have one sanctuary. Of course, this is where Chloe and Rachel used to hide from the world. But I can't hide for long. Whatever reality I'm in feels like a bad dream. Am I just not learning my lesson? Maybe your real lesson is to get out of this place. Just don't be afraid, Max. Let them be afraid of you. You took some of my drugs. Maybe you'd be a lot happier. It was hilarious when you guys dug up Rachel's body. <laughs> oh, no. I want to share my bone. Max. I Max. Get your bony ass over here! Was there one more left? Cut you open, freak! Those were my beans, Max! Those were my fucking beans! I sure hope you don't think we're buddies now. 
my blood spattered angel. Psst. Max. Max. Me and Rachel are floating down here. Maybe you'd be a lot happier. Max. What the fuck ever? Please let that be the last one. Now that Rachel's dead, it's the Chloe, I blame you for this. You will pay. I need proof that bottles were out to get me, just in case. dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom's away... I'll let her know that. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Wheels. What? I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to feast You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Dad. How long will this nightmare go on? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Holy shit, Warren. Max is trying to play us both. Guess she's not as innocent as she acts. Not when she's trying to hook up with both of us. I only want to go ape with you, Chloe. Come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh shit, look at Max spying on us. 
Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead and you're still alive? Life is so not fair. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Great, numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Don't kill us, Max! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Shit, Max. I thought we were on the same team. Now I'll die alone. Max, I hope you do the right thing. I hope. I can't believe you kissed me. Now you're going to kill me? Max, please save us. Save the Bigfoots, Max. Please. Honey, I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're going to take me away from my family. Why would you do that? Max, you're exactly the kind of soldier I'd want by my side in a war. Son of a bitch, this is going to hurt. So this is how Max gets her revenge on. Max, you saved my life. Gave me the chance to catch one more fish. Thanks for that warning, Max. You treated me like a human, not like trash. I sure hope you do that for everybody in town. Honey, I breaker, always breaker. thought of you like a Thanks dog. for saving me and... And Carrying the load, good buddy. That's a big tip. Family. This is not, not how I wanted to that? spend my last hour on Earth. Max, can you call my mother in Portland and tell her that I love her? Killing me is so not cool. Wow, Max. Right when I finally find a cool chick to date, you have to kill us off. This sucks. I know I haven't been the best principal to you but you've been a great everyday hero for us. Please save us. I guess my husband and new baby will have to go without me. Max, I hope you can live with yourself after this. I wish we had been friends, Max. But please... Don't let me die like this. I'm still a teenager. Max, I'm truly, I truly am sorry for being such a bastard. You would have been cool to hang out with. I just don't want everybody else to suffer like me. Don't let the squirrels die. You've always had my back, and now you're going to let me die? Thanks, Max. Oh, Max. What exactly was the point of saving me if you're going to let me die? Max, Please, I Max, hope you can don't live with yourself so after we can this. finally have our tea session. Max, I want you to know how much confidence you gave me. Nobody ever did that for me. 
I survive poverty and an abusive family, just so I can end up here to die. Who... who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. That's true. I wasted my power on trying to be friends with everybody. About time you admitted that. But it's way too late after everything you've done. But I still have great friends. And my power helped some. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, this song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? I don't feel so super. 
Uh, Max, here, um, let me help you find a place to chill. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? You saved me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Hide! Hide! You can't go back to your dorm now, you're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a step fucker, now Rachel betrays me. Not until I see it first! You know the rules, Dad! Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> it's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. 
And I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Chloe, you're back. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now! Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way! She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Rachel! Oh, Rachel, no, no! Please, not her! Chloe. <laughs> Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? <laughs> Come on, Max, Come on, we're Max. almost there. We're almost there. Please wake up. Can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe? I... I must have passed out. Oh, thank Sorry. God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. My storm! I caused this! I caused all of this! I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything! And all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it! And you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max! This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... 
You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... to... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Max, it's time. Not anymore. Max, I'll always be with you. Forever.